Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Your listening pleasure, Old School Sunday and Dr. Rick Wright and Lee from New York City. How you doing, man, with the Syracuse University Alumni Connection, man? I'm fine, and you are, sir? Oh, things are kicking, man. Having a ball this afternoon. Entertaining all these hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world. Phones been ringing off the hook all day, man. All over the country, all over Syracuse and Central New York, and we having fun. Four minutes past the hour, six o'clock. So how you doing? Give us a big report, man. We waiting to hear from you, Doctor Wright. Yes, Lee. Have you heard of Project Feed Me? Project Feed Me. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, I met Patrick Alvarez. And uh, he's in charge of the During CBT 9 this year. Yes. He told me a little bit about his project, and he signed up with the network. But subsequently, I have found out that this young brother is about service to his community. Dr. Wright, you agree with me that we all have our callings in life? Oh, I certainly do. God has a plan for all of us. And what we should do is identify and find that plan and get busy. Get busy, 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 busy. And well, make a contribution. Ne- Go ahead, Lee. Talk to us, man. Good networking incorporates the sharing of our individual callings and our values. I believe your Power 106.9 FM listeners would like to know more directly from our talented network participant, Patrick Alvarez, and maybe we can get him to visit the radio studio of Power 106.9 FM or at least call in and talk to you. Oh, right. yes, Lee, from New York City. Do it, man. Talk to us. This morning, George Kilpatrick interviewed one of the network's Frasier Net friends, Del Toro McNeil, and on GK's Clear Channel Radio syndicated show, New Inspiration for the Nation. You usually tune in to GK's show at 9 a.m., right, sir? Oh, I catch everything. I keep a radio going 24 hours a day. Oh, seven days a week, Power 106.9, to catch out the action, man. Yes, indeed. Well, George and Dell were off the hook in their discussion of our current economy and how our individual mindset can determine how each of us can be adversely affected or richly rewarded. It seems that your choice of words and your attitude can pull you out of a problem faster or make opportunities even richer for you. Dr. Wright, I spoke to GK today, and he said he will add the Del Toro McNeil interview to his growing library of podcasts. Your Power 106.9 FM listeners should look out for it on uh, your Power website. And what is your URL again, sir? Power1069.com, man. All right. Dr. Wright. Yes. In fact, George Kilpatrick was on air about 5 o'clock here on... Old school Sunday today, Lee. I heard him. (laughs) Searching for a Christmas tree for his family. Oh, yeah. But that's a big time story. Okay, Lee, give us more reports, man. Dr. Wright, yesterday during the men's basketball game, Dr. Daryl Gross spoke with the media concerning SU football. Who is this new coach poised to start the next season? Well, none other than Syracuse University great of the early 1980s, Doug Marone. Also a former student of mine, man, our new Syracuse University football coach, coming in from the New Orleans Saints, man. And this guy, Doug Marone, has been planning for this. I'm finding out all of his life, man, the last 20 years, getting ready and wanting to be the coach of the Syracuse University Orange football team. So I'm really excited, man. I'm ecstatic. And, in fact, Dr. Darrell Gross was on air with me about uh, about 35, 40 minutes ago, talking about Doug Marone, Coach Doug Marone. What a story. Hey, Timmy Green, how you doing out in Skinny Atlas, man? You and Doug Marone came to Syracuse together in the world-famous Carrier Dome. Also, big hello this afternoon to Art Monk down in Washington, D.C., and also to Floyd Little out in Seattle, Washington. They were all part of the search committee, along with Coach Dick McPherson. So that's some of the stories that I know when I talked to Dr. Gross early in. Everybody's excited, man. This is really a surprise pick. But the Syracuse University football orange family, man, is ready for Doug Marone. We're ready. (laughs) Yeah, but that's another story there, Lee Kent. How you doing, man? What can I say? We got to bring greatness and showtime back to football in Syracuse, New York, and it's going to happen. Absolutely right. Dr. Wright. Yes, Lee. 
I am notifying you that our network participants will receive an email this week on how to be notified about what our SU community is doing. Dr. Wright, off the top of your head, how do you know what the network is up to or what we just accomplished? Oh, man, I just sign on, man. Just sign on, and of course, hey, I do know what's happening, man. Got you every Sunday here at Power 106.9, talking to millions of people, man. And of course, also being a big part and doing a big ancillary outlook at the network and trying to make things happen so we can report information on the network. Dr. Rick Wright, here at Power 106.9 Radio Lee, every Sunday afternoon, man, for the North American continent. Showtime. Do it. And your show is very instrumental in helping us get the word out. We have other ways. We have at least 10 other ways from our virtual office to our use of Facebook to LinkedIn to YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. And Dr. Wright, when this email comes out next week, we want people to begin to really focus on how to stay notified with people within our SU community. Dr. Rick Wright, yes. this is Lee Kitt for the network. Okay, Lee, thanks for all that you do. Love you so much, and thanks for reporting in from New York City and our great Syracuse University Alumni Network. Big shout out to the Syracuse University Network. Oh, love you, baby. We are getting there. Technologically sophisticated in 2008 from Dr. Rick Wright, Power 1069 Radio here in Syracuse for the whole world. Love you, baby. Love you. Yeah. Bye-bye. The network reminds you that you, too, may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.